to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Um, Co-laborers in the gospel, and then the body of Christ over this territory. In this kingdom, we excel on the strength of superior spiritual knowledge, illumination that we have. Dominion is not an impartation. Dominion is the resultant effect of comprehending the mysteries of the kingdom. Our ability to understand the ways of God. Just because eternal life or the faith life provides access to a life of victory and grace does not mean you will just walk in it arbitrarily. It takes knowledge. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18. Paul was lamenting while mentoring the church in Ephesus. And he says, having their understanding darkened. He says, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them. Spiritual ignorance is able to make a man, though saved, not able to walk into the fullness of that which was purchased for in Christ. He says, an heir, as long as he's a child, that he differeth not from a slave even though he be lord of all and so before i begin to speak to you and i'm hoping that the holy spirit will use this introduction to plant in you a passion for superior spiritual knowledge you do not have anything to say if you are not grounded and rooted in the word you see the word of god defines the boundary of god's commitment to the believer god cannot be committed to the believer outside of the provision that scripture allows so the more you are sound in doctrine thoroughly furnished in the word you sustain the tools to produce victory hallelujah and even signs and wonders like we'll be experiencing shortly tonight are at the instance of the word it does not just happen it is when you hear the word in Acts chapter 8, the Bible says from verse 5, please give it to us so that I tidy up this introduction and this recap. Acts chapter 8 and verse 5, the Bible says, Philip the evangelist, that he went down to Samaria and the Bible says he preached Christ unto them. So it started with a declaration, preaching Christ. He communicated the gospel like Bishop said so powerfully with power and with understanding. The next verse, it says, verse 6, the people with one accord those who were about to receive these miracles the first thing they did was to pay attention to the preaching of the word you see the difference between a herbalist and the system of God is a herbalist does not necessarily need your attention and it does not necessarily need a relationship all he needs is just compliance to the rules but when you come to the Lord the first thing is that he beckons on you your attention because it is the hearing of faith that produces miracles are we together so the Bible says the people with one accord they gave heed to those things which Philip speak hearing and seeing listen a real ministry must bring people to a point where they both hear and see a ministry that hears alone is not an absolute it's not a correct template for ministry if it is a God of heaven you are representing people must both hear and see God does not only speak, He does. We, this is one of the reasons why we need impartation. So that the things that people have been hearing, they will now see. When people hear and see, they will be convicted. Is that true? The things that our eyes have seen, that our ears have heard, that our hands have handled even of the word of life that that is the things that we teach so the bible says please keep that scripture there that he spoke about the things that hearing and seeing the miracles which he did what were the miracles the bible does not leave us in the dark for unclean spirits crying with a loud voice came out of many that were possessed with them and many taken with palsies that were lame 
were healed as a result there was great city great joy in the city of yola when there is a manifestation of the reality when jesus christ and the faith life does not just become theory when the kingdom is made manifest in the midst of god's people it brings joy and in this kingdom your strength comes from your joy hallelujah he says he that told you have asked for nothing he says ask that you might receive to the end that your joy be full all of the things that we're going to be celebrating tonight the miracles the signs and the wonders are to the end that there be joy in our lives when you buy a car it's not about the metal you are moving it is joy you are looking for when god opens a door for you it is joy no wonder the bible says that in his presence there is fullness harvest never comes until you are in the atmosphere of joy that he that sows in tears he will reap not with joy in joy in joy in joy if you want food you have to enter the kitchen so you are in the kitchen in joy it is a realm that you must enter to have a harvest if you are not in joy there is no possibility of a harvest are we learning number three the third price that you must pay if you want to experience increase and enlargement is the price of building your faith the third price that every believer must pay the laborious price of building your faith let's discuss the subject of faith for a few minutes faith the bible has a lot to say about faith four times in scripture the bible declares that the just shall live by faith that in this kingdom we live by faith are we together hebrews chapter 11 and verse 4 it is one of the most comprehensive uh, compendium of the faith work it discusses the subject of faith in detail and here's what apostle paul says about faith he says now faith is this is the first information he gives us about faith that faith is not worse faith will not will be that if it is faith it always is now faith is now faith is always alive is living he calls it the substance of things hoped for please look up and then he calls faith the evidence of the things you have not seen he says for by this spiritual substance that we have come to name faith he said all elders obtained a good report then verse 3 says it is true faith that we understand we were not there when it happened but through faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of God so that the things that appear were children that came out of an unseen realm this is an information that we believe by faith are we together then as we read on he says time will fail me to talk of Gideon and Jephthah and Barak men who through faith it says subdued kingdoms wrought righteousness shut the mouth of lions women who received their dead back to life the character of faith what is faith faith let me give you my definition of faith faith is the name given i pray that you will understand this that faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction on who god is and the integrity of his word the name given to the action not the believing believing is not faith believing is part of the process that leads to faith faith is the name given to the action that you take based on your conviction based on your conviction everywhere you see the bible mention faith in scripture is predicated upon your conviction persuasion something god has said that you believe and then the end of your believing is that you know the participatory condition that supports actualizing that promise you see the bible 
please let's discuss doctrine for a few minutes the bible basically contains three things number one the bible contains promises please write it down the bible essentially contains promises number one then the bible contains principles number two god's modus operandi his system of operation they are hidden in mysteries the principles of the kingdom and then number three the bible contains prophecies so every time you open your bible you are like a spiritual archaeologist exploring promises principles and prophecies promises represents the commitment of god to you principles represent the modus operandi of the kingdom the system by which we obtain results matthew chapter 13 and verse 11 jesus was teaching while he walked upon the earth and the bible says when he called his disciples privately explaining these parables to them he said because it has been given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom everyone say mysteries the mysteries of the kingdom represent a body of truth that are hidden only to those who are in the kingdom a mystery is a hidden code of operation are we together the dss or the military people they have hidden codes of operation they have words that they use you have to be in that fold to understand what they are saying they are called mysteries you can come to a house and a husband and a wife they have hidden codes of communication in that house if you are a visitor and you are not part of that family you may not understand in this kingdom we excel on the strength of the mysteries that we know so anyone who is not part of the fold may not understand why we do the things that we do for instance that to rise in this kingdom financially among the many other principles the bible says there is he that scattereth and yet increase it is a mystery it does not make sense until you are in the kingdom why will you be in the kingdom and have challenges before you and then you begin to dance and sing praises no what you do physically is to call the police and get lawyers and begin to cry but in the kingdom you are dancing and celebrating because it is a mystery it says i will call upon the lord who is worthy of praise by this formula prayer and praise shall i be saved from my enemies so every time you are overwhelmed you introduce this mystery the mystery of prayer the mystery of praise that's what happened at midnight when paul and silas when they were overwhelmed it is a law not a psalm it was a spiritual law that was hidden in the psalm that every time you are in trouble and you are overwhelmed call upon the lord prayer and then praise the union of prayer and praise always produces deliverance are we together now just knowing this alone will grant you grace to continue to triumph over situations that would have kept you down when we say you are matured in this kingdom spiritual growth is not measured by longevity in church no ne not necessarily you can be there for a long time and yet not grow there are two biblical indices that are used to measure spiritual growth number one the degree to which the character of the christ is formed in you in experience that is the first biblical index that shows that you are growing it says my little children of whom i travail until christ be formed in you the formation of christ the character of christ and that the character of christ is formed through a process that we call transformation transformation the name given to the process that makes you become like christ in experience the second biblical index for measuring spiritual maturity is your depth of comprehension of the ways of god you are mature to the degree to which you are able to handle the word of life effectively like the sword like a veteran in the army able to use the sword all of these spiritual arsenals the shield of faith the sword of the spirit which is the word of god that with it you are able to quench all the fiery darts of the devil are we still together just a digression to put things in perspective so faith is based on two qualities of god please listen carefully let's go to scripture there are two qualities of god that bible faith is based on if it is bible faith 
two qualities of God. The first quality is found in Numbers chapter 23 and verse 19. There are two spiritual qualities of God that produce Bible faith in the believer. Number one is called his integrity. Everyone please read what is projected. Numbers 23 and verse 19. Let's read in concert. One to read. Stop. 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 This is a very important information. God is not a man. Say it after me, please. God is not a man. He became a man, but he is not a man. If you say God is a man, he must worship who created him. So God is not a man. He only became a man so that he can save men. But God is not a man. And he tells you, that all men have the tendency of two things number one lies that men lie they don't lie because they are bad they lie because they are men <laughs> now listen 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 god is not a man that he should lie this weakness is not found in him and then not the son of man that he should repent so he's giving you an assurance that the one you are dealing with does not have this limitation god is not a man is called integrity integrity comes from the word integer sameness as within so without that god possesses that quality of dependability please write it down the first quality of god that the true bible faith is hinged on is his integrity This is not something that is easily achievable in the world of men. Integrity is hard as any sincere person. Integrity is not hard because you are bad. It's hard because there are many limitations, many of them beyond your personal control. Speaking from a human standpoint. Are we together? I can tell you, come and collect 10 naira from me. Because someone was supposed to give me that 10 naira. And the person does not give me. With respect to what I said, if I don't give you, I don't have integrity. It does not mean I am bad. Whatever is the reason why I could not give you. So, that, do you know what this means? Before God ever speaks, he checks whether he has the ability to defend that statement. There is like a spiritual immigration system he put around himself. If God says, I will lift you, he says, believe it. I have checked every factor that can stop your lifting. And I found out I am above it to have spoken like that. Faith. Faith is based on the integrity of God. The second factor we have to rush. I wish that we had all the time would have done an extensive teaching on faith because many believers do not know what faith is now is the reason why few believers have consistent results the second quality of god upon which bible faith is based on is found in ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20 please give it to us ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20 his ability bible faith is based on God's integrity and God's ability. Please, Yola, help me repeat. God's integrity and God's ability. One more time. God's integrity and God's ability. Ephesians 3.20 Now unto him who is able. He tells you straight up that God is able. So do not doubt. There are many people who have integrity but they don't have ability. integrity is the sincerity and the willingness to make true your commitment but do you have the ability if i have money i will bless you but you do not have the ability god has both the heart and the wherewithal so you will see jesus walking the express image of god he will say i will be thou cleansed i have both the integrity and i have the ability it will be dangerous if the only thing god has is integrity we will still be in trouble because you will say many true things but they will not come to pass are we blessed ability now unto him who is the him god and the bible says he is able not just to say 
there are people who are able to say but they are not able to do god is able to do now it is the doing part that surprises me that he is able to do above all look at the one you are dealing with here above all that we ask i understand asking but he now says above all that we think hold on do you know how powerful the mind is go and ask nimrod kush genesis 11 there was no holy spirit there was no satan there was a healthy mind and they built a city that took only god to stop and god is saying now you have a mind empowered by the holy ghost and god is saying still dare me i am still able listen this is the reason why you can stand and look at an empty land and yet see a construction there this is the reason why you can watch a sick body they are telling you that this person is dying of hiv and cancer and you can dare to say within it a moment it is not your ability you don't have that kind of power in yourself the assignment of a true preacher is to bring situations face to face with this god and step back that's your assignment master the art of bringing challenges face to face with god and step back and you watch the wonder working power this was the audacity that david had before goliath goliath said am i a dog israel is this the best you can do i know i will kill you but respect me i'm a veteran of war and david said you don't know me you come to me with your bows but i come with a covenant i'm about to step back and leave you with that covenant this is faith you want to subdue kingdoms it is not just by talking carelessly most believers keep saying oh i will get this uh -uh. your confession is only profitable if the law is that it starts from your heart first before your mouth you have to settle this for with the heart man believes unto righteousness i'm shaking away unbelief because some of you are here seated with all kinds of sicknesses some of you are here ministry is small and yet you see when god talks to you he talks like he's talking to himself you know that it is god speaking to you because you do not have the power to do what he's saying the moment god talks to you and it is possible it's not god you had that's a demon talking to you god talks to men like he's talking to himself because it is only his power that can make happen what he says listen up. it's just an exhortation so that we can minister faith the integrity of God and his ability now listen you have to be convinced Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 it gives us a law if we want to see a performance in our lives and you must subscribe to this law it says for without faith that means outside of a realm of faith it is impossible to please him why for everyone who comes to god before you arrive there convince yourself first that he exists he is means he exists and then number two there is a name god is called that few people know he's called a rewarder a rewarder is not what he does is who he is god is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him are we blessed faith faith time will fail me to talk of all the patriarchs when god called abraham as a single man he told him carry your wife go to a land that i will show you and he began to move with a few people there came out of all of the chaldeans by the end of the story is a father of nations god spoke and he believed took him a long time to believe but finally he did and the bible says it was credited unto him for righteousness and galatians chapter 3 and verse 29 says and if ye be christ then are ye abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise but if said if you are the children of abraham you will do the works of abraham that means you will not only claim abraham's blessings you will have abraham's convictions if you do not have abraham's convictions you will not get abraham's blessings can i tell you this 
there are many dimensions to faith but one of the dimensions that must always be expressed in your life if you are you are a man of faith is land there is a relationship between faith and land somewhere in the equation of your faith you will always be given grace and authority for territory are we blessed hear me many of us are too scientific to be used by God you calculate everything how shall these things be seeing that I know not a man Mary said how will one plus one become ten anything plus God in it is the answer he gives anything one plus one is two you are right but one plus one plus God equals to the answer he chooses any answer once you put God in an equation the calculation changes completely I'm saying this so that you can believe God listen faith is not just what saying is not saying what God has said alone it is also doing what he has said Bible faith always leaves you with a responsibility a participatory responsibility if you do not find your participatory responsibility as far as actualizing any promise is concerned it will never come to pass there is always something to do Deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1 and 2 write it for reference that it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord to do and observe all that I command you this day then it says you will be exalted above all the nations of the earth and that these blessings will come upon you and overtake you there is always something to do Joshua chapter 1 and verse 8 Moses had, I mean uh, God admonishing Moses now after Joshua after Moses died he says this book of the law shall not depart from out of your mouth but thou shall meditate during day and night that thou mayest observe to do observe to do observe to do observe to do all not some observe to do all that is written therein then and only then shall thou make thy ways prosperous and that you will have good success hallelujah the classic character of faith is you see in the bible i don't know if i said this yesterday but every time god wants to preserve his mysteries he will enter a covenant with men that capture that dimension of that kingdom mystery and they will become his principal reference every time he wants you to walk in that dimension he will refer you to those people so when god wants you to understand faith and the blessing the personality that represents the subject of faith is abraham if god wants you to to understand encounters with god how people are changed through encounters the personality that captures that mystery is jacob if god wants you to understand the prevailing power of prayer and its ability to shift systems and territories the personality that captures that dimension is elijah are we together now yes if god wants you to understand favor how the favor of God works the personality that he refers you to is Esther if God wants you to understand deliverance how that he's able to deliver to the Ottomans the nation of Israel becomes the case study so when the Bible lets us know about the subject of faith according to Isaiah 51 from verse 1 and 2 it refers us to the patriarch Abraham and Sarah understudy their lives to understand to find out the dynamics of faith it says Isaiah chapter 51 can we have that goodness it says how good to me ye that follow after righteousness and seek the Lord look out from the rock from whence you were hewn verse 2 it says look on to Abraham your father understudy him and to Sarah that body it says for I called him alone and blessed him and what increased him so you want enlargement through faith there is a patriarch the Bible mandates that we follow them who through faith and patience have obtained can I tell you what is a dream for you now is someone's reality and the Bible says follow them there is something don't follow anybody if you do not find faith in the equation of the achievement if you do not find faith 
if they did not have to believe God somewhere, run away, he says. Follow only those who you see their promise obtained through faith and patience. Are we learning something tonight? You must believe in God. Blessed is she that believes, the Bible says. For unto her there shall be a performance of those things spoken. Blessed is she that believes. Blessed is she that believes. Do you know the Bible says when you read John chapter 20, the last verse I believe, it says many other miracles Jesus did in the presence of his disciples that were not recorded in this book. It says, but this was written that you might believe and that in believing you will find life eternal. He wants us to believe. Listen to me. This Bible you see from Genesis to Revelation is a manifesto of God's integrity. He dares you. He says, look at it. Choose any verse and any scripture and see how faithful I have been so that you can believe me. You are not the first to be in a situation down. Ask Esther. I can pick women from a village to the palace. Ask Israel. I can pick them from Egypt. You are not the first to desire lifting. You are not the first to want to build a house. You are not even the first to be cursed. Ask Jabez. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. He said the mother bore him in sorrow. But Jabez changed the narrative of his destiny. He says, oh that thou wouldest bless me. And enlarge my and that your hand will be upon me and God answered him you are not the first to be in a situation of life and death our nation and our territory is not the first to go through economic turmoil a time came when the whole earth was in trouble in Genesis 42 and verse 1 and 2 even Jacob the prophet was hungry and the Bible says he called his sons he says why ye look at one another paraphrasing he said I have heard that there is corn when Jacob saw that there was corn in Egypt, he gathered his sons, he said, I have heard that there is corn in Egypt. He says, go and buy that we may eat and not leave. It was hunger that took Israel to Egypt. Hunger always takes God's people to Egypt. There is only one reason why Israel goes to Egypt. Hunger. Beware of hunger. That's why you must understand the blessing system of the kingdom. Because hunger can lead you from Israel to Egypt, where you now become slaves. Every time Satan wants you to come to Egypt, he does not have to say come. He just programs an economic climate of hunger. And when there is hunger, even Jacob the prophet goes to Egypt. Are we learning something tonight? faith i believe god and the bible says the righteousness that is of faith speaks on this wise so faith is not silent if it is true faith there is an equation it first starts with conviction not confession confession comes from the word homologio that means repeat as you have heard it is the confession without conviction is just a mock of oneself I will rise, I will rise, I will rise. Uh -uh. Your heart must be set on first. It is from the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks. The mouth does not speak for the heart to know. No, meditation is how the heart receives. When the heart now receives from the strength of meditation, the mouth will speak. Are we together? Listen to me. I want you to be careful what you hear. Because what you hear consistently becomes what you believe and what you believe and act upon is what becomes your reality understand this you must culture yourself from the negative news our world is full of all kinds of things you switch on the television and in one hour you are discouraged can I do ministry in Yola ah. I believe I believe Jesus I believe I believe in miracles I believe in Jesus I believe in signs and wonders I believe in increase I believe in multiplication I believe 
I believe that until my assignment is done, no mortal man born of a woman can take my life. No, 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 no. It's not a general thing. You choose what you believe. This is my statement of faith. I believe that the favor of God can turn the tides over a man. I believe you can create your own spiritual climate like Goshen was in Egypt. That even though there be darkness, you can dwell in a realm of unapproachable light. This is what I believe. I have searched from scripture and I have found out that God can be trusted. He is not a man. Servants of the living God, let us get back to the authority of scripture. Don't just believe because a man you love said it. You must go to the word of God. The woman, the prostitute at the well, when she met Jesus Christ, after having a discussion with him and perceiving he was a prophet, she began to bring the issues of worship and when Jesus gave her a new orientation, the Bible says she ran and called people, come see a man that told me what I have done. They did not come because they believed in Jesus. They came because they were surprised at her transformation. But when they came, they met Jesus themselves. And after that encounter, here was their testimony. We now believe, not because you said it. Your testimony was only an usher that led us to now have an encounter for ourselves. Believers, it is good to believe the God of your pastor. Only if he, he will eventually become your God. Because it is your God that will produce your miracle. Daniel 11 and verse 32. But the people that do know their God, not another man's God. Another man's God, you can tap through the covenant of covering and prophecy and submission. We are coming there. But principally, your results will be obtained in this kingdom. Listen very carefully. Your results will be obtained in this kingdom based on the revelation of the God you know. I know whom I have believed. I don't just believe him. I know whom I have believed. And I am persuaded, he says, that he is able to keep that which is committed unto him against that day. The Bible says, now there remaineth a rest for the people of God. He says that today, if you hear his voice, harden not your heart like they did in the provocation in the wilderness. They could not enter the rest of God, even though they had the word like we did. But the word did not profit them, not mixed with faith in them that heard. What is the faith? The actions of obedience based on the truthfulness of what God said. The first miracle recorded according to the synoptic account of John was the wedding in Cana. And it was a demonstration of the might of God. He says, this beginning of miracles did Jesus. Are we together now? And the Bible says that he revealed his glory. The disciples now believed in him. What was the miracle? A feast was happening and the wine finished. When the wine finished, there was going to be an embarrassment on the couple. And then a few people found Jesus. And Mary said, whatsoever he says to do, do it. It may not make sense, but do it. And he said, fix, fill six vessels with water. Fetch that water and start moving to the ruler. You know, in those days, rulers were cruel people. Any embarrassment will cost you your life immediately. There was no counseling. There was no advice. You would die immediately. Why would you fetch water and be on your way to go and give a ruler? Prove that you trust me that much that God is not a man. Prove that you believe me that much. So God tells you it's time to have a church. And with 1,000 Naira in your account, you ask your friend and you foil his car and you say, let's drive down Adamawa. God spoke that it's time for us to establish that building. And while you are doing that, your senses is saying you must be crazy. And you say, no, 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 it's not my fault. I'm not the one who will fund it. I'm only a steward. The Bible says, moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. My assignment is to use my obedience and bring that situation face to face with the God of the Bible. Listen, the exploits of faith in this kingdom is based on the simple obedience. Within a few minutes, we are going to be celebrating the hand of God and the move of God. And every one miracle, every one sign and wonder, restoration, your requests that have been written here. Many of you will be surprised to see the way doors open. It will be as though you were given a term in this conference. You see? Just like that. And then the glory goes to the Lord. Because I'm telling you, if you can believe God, 
there is no limit to what he can do if you believe him and walk in keeping with the conditions allocated for actualizing that miracle being convinced and convicted will not bring the miracle it will only start the process you must walk in keeping with the conditions the conditions the conditions are we blessed in one minute i'd like you to lay hands on your head and say father increase my faith go ahead and pray increase my faith faith can grow faith can grow if your faith does not grow your possibilities will not grow if your faith does not grow your results will not grow if your faith does not grow you cannot have enlargement capacity to believe god capacity to believe god so then faith comes by hearing the hearing that produces understanding and that by the word of god someone is praying hallelujah praise the lord thank you so price number one that you have to pay is the price of accurate perception your belief systems and your spiritual orientation must be consistent with the word of god price number two warfare there are powers that be that stop the advancement of god's people he was talking to the church in thessalonica i desire even i to come to you once and again but satan hindered us and so we pray and clear the spiritual highway number three is the price to build your faith bible faith always produces results and the fourth price that you must pray you must pay the fourth price if you want enlargement is called the price of prophetic alignment write it down someone's life is going to change now the price of prophetic alignment i'm praying for you that what i'm about to share listen to me if you catch this revelation many of you will begin to run like elijah that within a space of your life will so change believe me please pray in the spirit in one minute if you can go ahead and pray go ahead and pray hallelujah Hosea chapter 12 and verse 13 let me teach you something about the prophetic God of vengeance has done my life God of miracles has won my battle I'm a winner man a winner man the Bible says Hosea chapter 12 and verse 13 and by a prophet the Lord he was the one who brought them but the technology and the dynamics is that by a prophet the Lord brought Israel where out of Egypt he literally translocated them by the ministry of the prophetic he says and by a prophet was he the Israel of God preserved now please look up the prophetic ministry I think and it extends also to the apostolic is one of the ministries that has been misunderstood more than any other ministry are we together now on both sides of it there has been all kinds of imbalances and error so on one hand we have all kinds of things that are not they are not accurate as far as the administration of spiritual things is concerned all in the name of the prophetic and this came because of the way africa africa comes largely from a heritage of idol worship 
and superstition are we together so it is easy from that standpoint to be inclined to the prophetic but you see when you approach the prophetic without renewal and transformation you will inevitably end up dabbling between witchcraft and spirituality even though you are sincere it takes transformation to create coordinates of balance called transformation through scripture the absence of doctrine because the realm of the spirit is a vast realm open to all and the holy spirit is not the only usher that leads you there any spirit can usher you there and the moment you access the realm of the spirit whether demonically or spiritually you already have an advantage over the natural man pay attention please we're discussing the prophetic so the prophetic in africa has been marred with a different shade of imbalances are we together now and so many people because of the way the prophetic has been just feel that the only way to manage this is to avoid it completely because i'm not ready to dapple into anything that has to do with superstition or witchcraft and all of that but there is a role that the prophetic plays in actualizing destinies there is nobody please listen to me i'm sharing with you a deep mystery now no matter you are listen to me even if you meet jesus directly he will still refer you to the system he has put for rising you will always need men to change levels no no matter what your spiritual encounters are you will still be referred back ask saul when he met god and became paul you would think after an encounter with jesus christ he should not need any man again it was jesus himself that referred him back to the structure in the body go to the house of ananias stay there there is a man i have ordained now watch this sit down sit, sit down sit down sit down sit down sit down sit down when jesus came the word of god his heavens were closed for 30 years jesus your jesus walked under a closed heaven for 30 years until he met a strange prophet called john your jesus as anointed as he is the holy ghost did not come upon him and the father never called him son until he met a man please listen this is not idol worship forget about some of these things that go on wrong i'm communicating doctrine i'm showing you why many of you have remained at the same position because the grace sent to hold your hand not arrived this is true this is true listen listen carefully pay attention jesus walked as though he was not the son of god for 30 years and then i hope you know that john was not a baptist john was a prophet baptism was a strategy invented to help him identify the christ and then number two to now help him introduce a sacrament of immersion and then to be resurrected into christ are we together now so every time when john was in the wilderness as a prophet he was given a sign that every time he baptized he will look up you say go you are not the one he will baptize he will look up go you are not the one he will baptize he will look up now watch this please sit down sit down I'm teaching you something about the prophetic now John came to a point where he saw a 30 year old Jewish young man and he says no you are the ancient of days you are only in a 30 year old body he said I am not what behold the lamb that takes away the sins of the world watch this John said I I you are God I'm a prophet I know what I'm seeing I'm not worthy to open your heavens Jesus made a statement that is a warning to everyone he said suffer it to be so it's an ordinance if I don't submit to that ordinance my heavens will close I am Jesus but suffer it to be so no matter how anointed you are no man ordains himself no man honors himself you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself honor has to be conferred by another please sit down sit down fire is burning in this place now pay attention please i'm about to introduce something that if you understand for many of you this is the answer to the age-long prayer 
Lord, why is it that I cannot shift? There is a law you have been breaking sincerely so. Look up, please. The heaven you are going to, that you so look forward to, go and read how heaven was constructed. Heaven was constructed with the names of 12 apostles of the Lamb as the foundation. The Bible says this is how the church was built. Look at the architecture of the church. Paul was given the privilege of seeing the architecture of the church. Pay attention. He said in the building of the church, the first person you meet is Christ. He's called the chief cornerstone. The moment you meet Christ, there are two strange ministries you must meet to rise. The apostolic and the prophetic. He calls them the foundation. Listen carefully. I don't mean the apostolic and the prophetic by name. Jesus wanted to do ministry. The father was watching. The Holy Ghost was in heaven wanting to come. But where is the man that must give authorization? Because you see, that was the one who the mandate and the grace was upon. And even God would respect it. Let me tell you this. It is not only God you need to rise. It is only God you need to worship and your allegiance should go to. But when it has to do with the dynamics of manifesting destiny, you need God and you need the man he is using. Look up please. When the oil finished in the parable, it says go to them that sell. Not everybody is looking for oil. There are those who have it already. And I showed you yesterday how they got it. Remember? All those who have oil to sell. You want to know how they got it? Go to 2 Kings chapter 4. Once upon a time, their oil was in a small cruise. They didn't know what to do. It was a prophetic they encountered that multiplied their oil. That they now have enough to sell to others. Thank you. Are we together? Thank you. So Jesus, okay, help us with the sound. Jesus comes to John and John says, Jesus says, suffer it to be so. Watch this. He dips John in water. He brings John out and your Bible, the one you have on your hand now, says, and the heavens open. Over Jesus, did he need the heavens open to do ministry? Watch this. When the heavens open, two things happen. One, the Bible says the Holy Ghost descended in the similitude of a dove. It came and rested on him. And number two, a voice. Watch this. Watch this. A voice spoke and said, this is my beloved son now. Question, who was he before? God had to make that verdict. Your obedience has validated your sonship. Your compliance to my ordinances has validated your sonship. Now watch this. It says, this is my beloved son. Please catch this revelation. In whom I am well pleased. And he mentioned three words that if not spoken upon you, you can never expand. Hear ye him. Question. Who has spoken to the territory to hear you? Jesus did not just manifest he would have been surprised God himself made a declaration hear ye him he went to the desert a crowd came he went to the riverside a crowd came he climbed the mountain a crowd came resources came from fish came from air because a command was given hear ye him that means whatever it would take for his ministry to find visibility let it come listen to me i don't doubt your call but do you have the hear ye him is has that grace been placed on your life there are many gifted people in this city genuinely anointed on fire but you organize a meeting there is nobody to come and hear what god is saying and you know that god is saying something to you there is a hear ye him grace but it comes by submission to God's protocol of operation. Not even Jesus missed that. Are we together now? 
Abraham was at a point in his life where it seemed like nothing would happen except prophecy and he returned from war and he met a strange king of an ancient city called Salem called Melchizedek watch this Abraham honored him and here was what Melchizedek said blessed be Abraham son of the most high I make you possessor of the heavens and the earth watch this do you know brothers and sisters we're about to pray do you know that prophet Samuel was a man is that true when God rejected Saul as king David was already having visions as the next king God was ready but the prophet he will use was still negotiating for Samuel and a man's destiny was suffering because the prophet that will announce him was not cooperating with God can you imagine that God is ready to lift you but the prophet you will use was still negotiating and you think God will say no 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 I have options look at how God had to come himself to negotiate with Samuel he says Samuel um, why do you continue to weep seeing that I have rejected Saul as king take your horn and go to the house of Jesse you are you are delaying someone who is ready because you are the prophet who should ordain him see hold on do you know what made Saul to lose his throne he was not knowing the rankings in the spirit of men he thought that because you are a king it also means that you are a priest and a prophet and so they kept putting pressure on him offered the sacrifices Samuel is wasting our time and out of pressure he offered the sacrifices Samuel came and said you have done foolishly you would have allowed me to come this is an office he said our God would have established your throne forever but now that you have done this the kingdom is taken away from you it would have been thou son of Saul have mercy on me but now he lost it can I tell you this this is not human worship but please hear me Yola all men are not equal we are equal in Christ the same Lord is rich unto all are we together but in terms of our personal sacrifices alongside the election of grace it has separated us into spiritual cadres. this should not bring pride but let me tell you this you can remain for a long time and God will be watching you as merciful as he is until the day you find the grace sent to lift you not the grace available there were many widows in Zarephath but to none was Elijah sent. Elijah passed other widows and greeted them. But the day he went to the one he was sent to, that was the end of our situation. Are you learning something here? When it was time for the nation of Israel in Exodus chapter 14, we don't have the time. These guys continue to cry before God. How many of you know that according to the prophecy that was given to Abraham, they would spend 400 years? Question, who added the 30 extra years? One man, Moses. The slow pace of his training added the captivity of the people he was to deliver. Because until he was ready, he now went to Ramesses, his half-brother, who had now become the Pharaoh of Egypt. Thus saith the God of the Hebrews, let my people go. And Pharaoh said, what nonsense are you speaking about? After 10 plagues, he allowed them to go by a prophet. When he brought them out, watch this. They got to a point where they were standing before the Red Sea. And the Egyptians were running after them. They were angry and they said, Moses, we told you. We would have just remained slaves. But Moses said, no. Exodus 14, verse 13. Please give it to us. We are reading from 13 to 15. That's what is happening to someone this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. Exodus 14 from verse 13 Exodus 14 from verse 13 14 14 media Exodus 14 from verse 13 and Moses said unto the people Yola fear ye not it says stand still and see the salvation of the Lord which he shall show you when talk to me when not tomorrow Today. 
it was a prophet who was speaking what God was about to do and he said for the Egyptians for the cancer for the situations that you see today that you will see them no more forever next verse next verse he says the Lord will fight for you so when a prophet is coming it is the Lord fighting for you Moses was there with them and he was saying the Lord was fighting for them how did the Lord fight for them by giving them the advantage of the prophetic are we learning something next verse 15 Moses the Lord now said to Moses I have promised them that I will fight for them but if we keep quiet nothing will happen to them why criest thou unto me you are a prophet I have spoken echo what I have said speak unto the children of Yola and tell them that they go speak unto them that they go last scripture Acts I mean second Kings chapter 6 verse 1 second kings chapter one please give it to us very quickly we're about to pray i hope the lord is working your faith and building capacity to know that something is coming on you one of these these women three that are sitting i just saw fire coming on one of you right now i stretch my hands these two in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing fire come on you and the Lord is saying in this season I'm about to announce you take that grace I come as one sent in the name of Jesus Christ listen I want you to pay attention to what the Lord is going to be doing in your life one thing I know for sure is that you will never be the same hallelujah Two, three people will start running out by the anointing just hold them and bring them out hold them the power of God is coming on them they will start running physically is it I'm not saying to start running by your is the power of God that will bring you just hold them whether you are an usher or not whether they are inside or outside bring them please please bring them second kings chapter six my god fire is about to burn in this place no don't bring them out not these ones not these ones the instructions is those running by the spirit just bring them out the era of delay is coming to an end Please help them. Just hold them. I want to speak to them. Then they can go back. Haya, haya, everyone and the sons of the prophet this was an issue of space they were tired of limitation and they said behold now the place where we dwell with you is too small Yola, ministries businesses the space where you are is too small. and then verse 
four. Watch this. So he went with them. And as they came to Jordan, they cut down wood. Verse 5. But as one was felling a beam, the axe head fell into water. And he said, Alas, master, it was a sincere journey for expansion. I didn't intend to be in this trouble. The trouble I have with the bank today was simply because I intended to enlarge. The challenges I'm having today is because I intended to enlarge. But thank God for the prophetic. He carried the prophetic along to his place of breakthrough. And then, verse 6. Alas, master, it was borrowed. And the man of God said, have no fear. While you were on your journey, you carried the prophetic along. Now that you are in trouble, do not fear. The prophetic is a bailout system to bring you out of that tragedy. And the prophet said, where fell it? And he showed him the place. Where is the place where you are sick? Show the prophet the place. Where is the business ailing you? He said, right here. Where is the area of concern? The prophetic is asking you by the spirit tonight. Where is the area that doors have not been opened? He pointed the place. It's my finances. That's why I asked you to put your prayer request together. Where fell it? Please help that lady just so that you don't. The prophetic said, where fell it? Tonight God is asking you again through the prophetic. Man of God, where fell that battle axe? The axe that you were supposed to use for the next level. Where fell it? And he said right here. And he took a stick, an insignificant formula, and threw it there. And the axe head began to float. And he said, pick it up. Tonight, please hear me. This will be our final encounter together. The Lord has brought the city together, many of you from region to region, state to state. Please, I'd like for your heart to be open. In this place right now, the Lord is going to be healing the sick. In this place, the Lord is going to be delivering people. There are destinies that have been held under captivity for a long time. It's time to be released. And hear me, there are graces, there are mantles, there are unctions that have been searching for some of you for many years god has sent me tonight by his spirit some of you have tasted of the power and the grace of god in a measure it's time to rise higher he have encompassed this mountain long enough it's time to move higher are you ready to pray fire from heaven fall upon my destiny let things begin to change and shift in my life go ahead and pray Everyone stand if you can. Please pay attention. I want you to listen to me. Listen to me. This man standing before you, what you see and hear tonight is the privilege of an election of grace. Please, no distraction. Listen. Hear me. One day, I became tired of religion. I became tired of church. 
I became tired of seeing the sick go back sick, the oppressed go back oppressed. When that happened, I began to seek the Lord in prayer, loving him and saying, Lord, if you desire to use me as a man of God, do not send me with only a sermon. Send me with a grace and send me with an anointing that can bring the nations salvation, hope and healing and deliverance. Listen, my hunger, I was not looking for ministry. When I started my journey with God, I was not looking for fame, not ministry, not even anointing. I wanted him. That was all I wanted. If you must find true power in this kingdom, the formula must be restored. In the beginning, God. Not in the beginning, ministry. Not in the beginning, signs and wonders. He must become the object of your pursuit. And one night, the Lord Jesus Christ came into my room. Pay attention. And when he came to my room, I was standing there before his majesty i have seen him i don't just believe him i know that he's alive hear me when jesus stood before me majestic in beauty and splendor i was like a piece of rag on the ground i know what isaiah said when he said "Woe, oh, i am undone a man of unclean lips when i saw jesus i knew that many preachers did not know him it took me more than one year to recover from that encounter now listen please right from that place he stretched his right hand towards me and light at his brilliance came and entered me and when that light entered me in another encounter the lord told me he said son from today I give you my presence as a gift then I see this angel standing before me and he said this will work with you I said what is his name he said he's called the angel of the Lord's presence this is why you see some of these manifestations that you see and hear me the Lord gave me several mandates that I've been ob obedient to. But one of them that must happen tonight, listen carefully. He said, every city and every nation that I send you to, there must be someone in that place that the light that came from me to you, that same light must be transferred to them. Listen to me. This does not happen to everyone but i can tell you i have been obedient to this call from nation to nation city to city i know there has to be someone in this place this night who has hungered and said lord i know you are calling me for such a time as this i'm tired of just having sermons there has to be a grace the global harvest is a reality but it cannot happen just with cheap talk our possibilities are defined by the kind and the level of grace that is upon us hear me yola you are immersed in such a dense atmosphere of his presence and his power and anything that does not name the name of Christ is about to leave. Yeah. Hallelujah. Help that man. About to leave. You will never, never, never be the same. Please listen to me. I bring you a superior dimension. I bring you a wine that was brewed by the Spirit himself. This is not a preacher coming to preach. No. You think like that you will not receive anything it's an election of grace there is a throne that backs the things that you see Hallelujah. 
so very quickly we are going to begin to pray please just help those under the anointing whether you are an usher or not now is the time where you'll be your brother's keeper i want to pray what will happen to you tonight this man that man lifting his hands sir shout jesus as loud as you can in the name of jesus christ i stretch my hands towards you that name you have called i'm seeing fire just come on you and the lord is saying he's shifting you to a new season in the name of jesus christ may that fire shift you to a new season you will never be the same in the name of jesus christ yola are you ready tonight lift your voice in one minute everything you desire to happen in your life begin to speak it declare let's have all the prayer requests please. so that there's no commotion and all of you who are by the edge up here please be careful i want to pray for you that everything that does not name the name of christ in the name of jesus it's time for it to go at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus that is the name that has been lifted above every other name hear me yola at the shout of that name if god be god everything sitting on anyone's destiny that is not of the christ it must give way right now are you ready one two three shout jesus every altar the bible declares blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us that he nailed it to his cross i decree and declare 
every planting that is not of God we uproot it now we uproot it now hallelujah praise the name of the Lord my goodness our time who is Godia Godia I'm hearing a name Godia who is that I'm hearing a name Godia please we do not have all the time if you are here and the Lord mentions your case or your name, please very The power of God is coming on you. You will never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus name I pray Amen. um who is Paul 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 who is that Paul you are wearing like a milk kaftan Paul is that someone like that who is that what is your name where's the mic huh? my name is Paul sir. from where I stay come here. Paul God is about to change your life my friend what do you do Huh? I want to pray for you. The Bible says, even the lawful captive shall be delivered. I will pray for you. There is a grace for entrepreneurship on you. And it may not look like it now, but the Lord is turning you. He will transform you in a very remarkable way. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please bring for me. There is a gentleman, not a lady, a gentleman. He will shout loud under the anointing to the hearing of everyone. Please bring him for me very quickly. I need to pray for him before we pray for the sick. My friend, look at me. In the name of Jesus, I bring you life. And I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit, let seasons change over your life. Receive that grace right now. In the name of Jesus, a change of season. You will never be the same. Never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help me please. There is a gentleman, the power of God is coming on. Ah. Please bring him. Your name is Paul too. What's your name? Danjuma. I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm about to pray for the sick now. Let there be a miracle for you. Supernatural miracle. In the name of Jesus. I am the Lord is showing me a woman. All the ladies in that family. This is what I'm saying in my vision. None of them have been able to have a child. Who is that? I want to pray for you. Please don't just come out at random. This is a vision God is showing me. Please, who is that person? I want to pray for you now. It's time for God to turn your morning into dancing. What do you do? Huh? You are a pastor where? Huh? He didn't think. I want to pray for you. You you look at me. Look at me. Your life will never be the same. You will begin to walk strongly in the healing anointing. Amen. Take that grace now. I stretch my hands. May that grace come upon you. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will never be the same. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for this gentleman by the power of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord Himself show you mercy and lift you even to higher grounds. By the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord, the family, if you are not here, no problem. We'll just, I want to pray for the sick. 
all i'm seeing the ladies no fruitfulness at all is that is there someone like that don't tell lies come where are you from where is she from? who knows huh huh mother is there somewhere like that okay how many are you? how many are you your family are you married no children yes. look at me you're going to have a baby boy the prophetic does not only reveal it creates it makes what has no business happening to happen by the authority of Jesus I want to pray for you and your sisters Huh? Maimuna. Maimuna. I don't know why I'm getting this name, Maimuna. We have to redeem the time and pray for the sick. Maimuna. I'm hearing a name, Maimuna. Father, in the name of Jesus, you have shown me concerning this lady. I prophesy upon you and I prophesy, Maimuna. You are wearing maroon. You are coming from outside outside this memuna is not in the auditorium outside this side in fact outside there who is that where are you coming from I'm from uh, 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 where in are you yes I you're, is, she, is she coming from the person i saw was coming from outside yes I'm where where were you yes. outside yes. my dear what do you do what do you do? I'm a politician. Do you know why I called you? Because it may look like what you are doing is not making sense. But the way God is going to lift you, it will surprise many people. I'm not a politician, no. I'm a man of God. But you see, there is a kingmaker anointing. Kingmakers don't become kings themselves, but they can enthrone and remove kings. politicians do politics with integrity do politics if you're a politician here i beckon on you by the message of god the era of just siphoning resources let's stop this thing and serve god's people with sincerity it doesn't matter what political position no matter how much you steal is this same stomach this is the limit of what you can take we must restore integrity in governance hallelujah i pray for you in the name of jesus may the god of heaven show you mercy I place grace upon your life and I provoke the meaning receive the grace now I set you on fire let doors be open for you in the name of Jesus Christ now please listen I want to pray for the sick now our time is gone my dear okay I call her out in Jesus name just place your hand on your stomach in the name of Jesus Christ let there be a miracle ah now let it be over by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus christ every devil gives way now mm. the authority that is in the name of jesus the key of david that can open a door that no man shuts and can shut a door this lady i'm seeing the grace that was on esther on you you this lady come you, this one with come out. <laughs> Where are you coming from? Huh? I want to pray for you. Listen, God will put you in palaces and before kings. It will surprise you what God will do. I'm saying it in the open. There is a grace that enthrones. Have you not been seeing it in your dreams? You saw it in your dreams. You were even telling somebody. Who were you telling? Your husband. Come. Don't be embarrassed, eh? Yes. The wonder walking power of Jesus. What do you do, sir? You're a pastor. I want to pray for you. The grace that was on Esther is on your wife. God will grant her access to systems and structures. I stretch my hands and in the name of Jesus Christ, drink of that wine. 
in the name of Jesus I set you on fire may that grace begin to speak that anointing is coming on you now take that grace in the name of Jesus Christ and for you may God help you in ministry my friend the Lord is showing you mercy look at me God is sending financial helpers sending financial helpers it will be like a dream God will just turn everything around for you in Jesus name can I pray for the sick now now please listen please listen to the instruction inside and outside I'm about to pray for the sick now we will let the devil know once again that Jesus is still Lord over your life hallelujah many of you already please this ones if they are alright they can clear the way so that some of us now when I pray for the sick we're going to do this very quickly we're out of time as soon as I pray and rebuke that devil the power of God is going to come upon you there will be miracles here please let me have maybe one or two of the pastors and I'll because we're going to call a few people who we're going to call a few people who have been healed we'll just take a few testimonies after that I will pray on this and then we'll do the impartation please be patient tonight and let the Lord visit this city hallelujah now lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle everyone inside and outside and you who is following from your home or from whatever nation of the earth I like you to lay your hands where you are trusting God for a miracle Jesus something special supernatural to pray for you now take your eyes away whether you're on a wheelchair whether you're on crutches whether you're on a stretcher whether you have a medical report that is a death sentence I'm about to pray just look on to Jesus right now and I want you to agree with me as I pray are you ready in the name of Jesus Christ amen. shout a louder amen in the name of Jesus Christ amen. in the name of Jesus Christ A lady is going to shout loud to the hearing of everyone under the anointing. The moment that happens, the healing power of Jesus will begin to move. Now, in the name of Jesus, I command every devil of infirmity, leave right now. Every devil of infirmity, inside and outside, I come by the apostolic and the prophetic, and in the name that is above all names, Every devil of infirmity leaves now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I pray for everyone who is sick. Be healed now. My God. Mighty miracles are happening. Be healed now. Everyone on a wheelchair. Everyone using crutches lift it up and begin to walk now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ, of Jesus Christ. every blind eye partial blindness total blindness be open now every deaf ear be open now I'm seeing someone with the issue of blood whether it's your circle or not you have the issue of blood with severe pain I'm praying right now go and check yourself the power of God is touching you right now there's someone with severe pain around the limbs in the name of Jesus Christ the power of God is touching you right now Every growth long around the breast area, fibroids, every devil, I declare that it leaves you right now. 
there's someone with a severe case of migraine very severe case of migraine be healed right now in the name of Jesus your left eye does not see well but after this prayer I want you to check it right now sugar diabetes is being healed now the Lord is healing I'm seeing hepatitis B be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ high blood pressure be healed now pile pile the Lord is healing pile in fact for one of you it's a severe case of pile be healed now there's someone you have I don't know if it's a boil or a growth around your armpit here after the prayer I want you to check it right now you will not find it again hotness severe heat around the body in the name of Jesus be healed right now Amen. now for someone it started like it was malaria but till now you feel severe pains around your joints whether you are sick or not the power of God is touching you right now Amen. Amen. there's someone here with HIV you had a dream and you saw like a dog pursuing you and it's like it beat you and you woke up and started having symptoms of HIV I cause that devil of HIV right now every trace of cancer here be healed right now in Jesus name hmm. marvelous miracles are happening here someone you could not shift your neck right now i would like you to check it the power of god has touched you you will find out that there's no pain in fact i'm seeing someone outside i don't know what happened to your sense of smell you couldn't i don't know if you lost it or whatever it is that happened but right now the power of god is touching you and you will find out that your sense of smell is restored in the name of jesus christ you had an accident I don't know if it was a fracture or something around your left limb. The power of God is touching you right now. Amen. Be healed now in the name of Jesus. Amen. I'm seeing someone is like you've had Qatar, but it does not seem to go. This has lasted for a long time and it remains like that. You can't even inhale properly. Most times when you sleep, you're breathing through your mouth. Right now, the power of God is touching you. Now, hear me. Whether I mention your case or not, in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the Son of the living God. Some of you already, right from yesterday, the Lord had healed you. Some of you who came under the anointing here, right now, be healed in Jesus' name. There, there is an elderly woman here. You have a problem breathing. You are unable to breathe properly. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke asthma. Amen. Someone, the kind of pain you feel when you have Whitlow, you are ex you've been experiencing that pain around your fingers. But right now, as I pray for you, the power of God is touching you. Amen. Now hear me, inside, outside, all of the overflows outside right to the gate and beyond and then those following online i seal your miracle right now i'm about to give you an opportunity to check yourself and we're going to celebrate miracles here Amen. now only those who have Amen. been healed by the power of god please check them the power of god has touched you i want you to check yourself do what you couldn't do some of you whilst you were under the anointing as you came up everything there's been healing inside or outside i want you to run there'll be a pastor here or here to just have them file up and then we'll take a few testimonies very quickly before the prayer session and then the impartation check yourself right now are you celebrating miracles people are coming my god check yourself check yourself check yourself check yourself do what you couldn't do before People are coming. Adamawa, you celebrating miracles. Those coming from outside, please allow them. Confirm them and then we'll take a few testimonies. Some of you may need to go out and use the restroom. 
Some of you are outside. Do what you couldn't do before. Lord, you reign and you rule over all. Unto you we ascribe all the praise. Lord, you reign and you rule over all. take a few testimonies listen as many just check yourself and keep coming but let's take a few that we have here who is, who is helping who is come, come. maybe we may need a mic this is the one he couldn't motivate to be got for last over two years ago and now he can check your what's your name the help people. him please hold on victor help them please get another mic get another mic for us get another mic look at this look at this come are you seeing this This is how long has this been? Almost one month. Almost. One month. You see it eating up and it has refused to heal. My brother, look at me. You believe in the anointing? Yes. You believe in miracles. Yes, in the name of Jesus, I bring you life now. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Be healed. Amen. Let that wound dry up right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, please. Who is the next? You don't have to, from where you are, can just testify before we bring them out. My friend, your your hand. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands. Let's take them one by one so that here is not routed. Last year, January. Last year, January. Leave him, leave him, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold leave on. him, leave him. What's wrong? Stroke. Stroke. He could not walk. Yes. Walk. Come. Go. Come. Go. 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 Come. Gradually, gradually. Don't trust him. In the name of Jesus, look at this. Could he do this before? Who came with him? Nobody knows. You are his wife. Could he do this before? My God, come on, come on, Yola. Look at this. For three years, my friend, look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ, look at me. I cursed that devil. Now, go. Now, in the name of Jesus. Now, look at what is happening. Look at his hand. Look at this. Look at this. Lift your hand. Lift your hand. Every devil, I cost you. Lift your legs. Go ahead. Gradually. 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 In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, let there be miracles right now. The Lord perfects you in Jesus' name. Please, let's not be rowdy. Let's not be rowdy. God bless you. Take it easy. Please coordinate them. Don't just bring them out. We'll do it this way. We'll just alternate. Maybe once or two. Who brought these guys out? Why are they here? Very quickly, help us, please. Praise hold on, hold on. Yes. The Lord. Please hold on, hold on. Let's be orderly. I've been having this pain round, Can you help us with the mic? What's your my, name? My praise. Praise. praise them and yes. Them. What happened? I've been having this severe pain for years. It comes and goes. Pain. Many times I've been How long? Scanning for almost seven years almost seven years. years if i go and scan they will say just go and drink more water i'm tired of scanning even last two weeks i went to hospital uh, right now what happened to you check yourself press check thing. press it any pain any pain ah. is this how you celebrate miracles in your life Once I pray for you, you can go back to your seat. Look at me, my dear. I'm here to pray for you. I stretch my hands. That pain never returns again. Amen. I cause out now. In the name of Jesus never returns again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Okay, I prayed for you already. Yes, Grace for you. Young man, look at me. 
God is going to use you. Huh? Stand up. I decree and declare, may the help of God come upon you and through you to your family. Amen. I release that grace upon you right now. Amen. Take that anointing. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will never be the same. Yes, please. I can breathe for two years, but now I can breathe. You Some... couldn't breathe for two years? Yes, sir. Breathe in and out. <laughs> Jesus! In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Pine. Pile. So how long? For more than 20 years, sir. More than 20 years. Yes, sir. I feel like I cannot see that I cannot start up for it years. And right now. Oh come on, oh come on, oh come on, oh come on. Now I know that soon I'm coming. Oh my God, I know. Can it be louder than this? I don't know who it is or give us. Hold on, please. Yes, please. Go ahead. My name is Medas Clement. I've been having a problem with my legs. I with your legs? This one. Yes. What couldn't you do? I couldn't even raise it. Like you couldn't raise it? Years. For more than how many years? 15 years. 15 years. Jump. Jump. Do what you couldn't do. Take it easy. Go ahead. Oh, you couldn't raise it. Hold on. Where were you standing? You, you could not even step. Okay, walk now. Any pain? Any pain? Lift it now. Any pain? Any pain? Any pain? In the name of Jesus Christ, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, it never returns to you again. In Jesus' name I pray. That grace is on you, bringing you perfection. In Jesus' name. Yes, please. My name is Desmond, sir. My God, are you seeing since, the miracles happening since here? Since 2018, sir, I've been having chest pain and waist pain after having a dream that I'm fighting with a demon and after waking up I found reality right is walking over my back and right now what happened um, right now I'm feeling nothing bend down yourself. check yourself any pain any pain what's your name come on give Jesus praise a miracle for Desmond look at me in the name of Jesus perfection for you it never returns by the power of the Holy Spirit now I bring you life and I bring you healing in Jesus name yes please who's the next person Hold on, please. Hold on. Don't worry. We'll see. We'll have to redeem the time. Yes, please. My name is Atali Peter. Can you be loud? My name Anyone is, on behind my, the mic? My please name be... is Atali Peter. Okay. I've been having this pain in my joint for, for more than six months now. More than six months. Yes. Check yourself now. Check yourself. Any pain? Completely gone. In the name of Jesus, it never returns. By the power of the Holy Ghost, never returns. Sir, let me hear this woman, please. Okay. When you said a woman with difficulty, in, an elderly woman with difficulty in breathing. Yes. I quickly answered, and from there, before I cannot even trek from there to where you are. You couldn't trek from there to this place. Yes. But, and right but, now. Yes, but, but now I came in myself. You came in yourself. <laughs> Hold on. She's trying to say something. Oxygen for a very long time. You have been on oxygen. Yes. Hold on. Ah. Huh? You are a doctor. You know her. Oh, you are a doctor. Come, 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 come. My goodness. You are a doctor. Oh my God! Look at this. Doctor, she's been on oxygen truly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. She has been in and out, in and out of hospital several years. Madam, breathe in and out. Let the devil see you do this. Any pain. Any pain. Any pain. Any pain. I stretch my hands. Perfection to you right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. You all celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Let's see if we can take a few more. Go ahead. 
Next, please, very quickly. My name very is, quickly. My name is Mary. I'm the one having issue with nose. I couldn't pass it anything. Since you couldn't pass it anything? Yes. For how long? Since I was born. Since you were born? Yes, I couldn't, I couldn't pass it anything. Is any of your family member here? No. I now you can smell something. Yes. What I did you smell? I, that perfume. Your perfume? Yes. Hold on. I, I wish they can be a bit loud so that we'll take. Um, I know there are many miracles. We may not be able to take everything. We might just choose maybe three or four more so that we can head quickly for the next. Okay. You couldn't smell anything. Yes. And when you mention hepatitis B, I'm having issue with it. Last two years, I tested it. You so tested it? Yes. Don't worry. Now you can smell. Hold on. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare this sense of smell. What is happening to Mama? I'm seeing her walk. She couldn't walk. Oh, severe headache. Okay. Huh? She's suffering from stroke too. She's suffering from stroke. Mama. Okay, look at me, my dear. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! Out of my hand. Never returns again. In the name of Jesus. Yes, please. Ah! My name, my name is Dora. Oh, 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 oh. Before we end this service, we must do a one minute praise. So, you gentlemen, get ready. One minute. Hold on, hold on, not now. When we are done, we pray on this. After the impartation, one minute, we must let the devil know that joy has returned in this environment. Yes, please, very quickly. Praise the Lord. My name is Dora Alba. I suffered from migraine since I was in primary school. Oh so, it came, started. <laughs> Let her go now. Out now. In the name of Jesus Christ, never returns to you again. Yes, please. I'm Damaris Okoje. Yes, ma'am. I have stroke and diabetes, hypertension, and then lumbar problem. For God's sake, you you see how demonic and evil and wicked Satan can be? Stroke, diabetes, hypertension. Hypertension. And then lumbar problem. And then lumbar problem. What happened to you tonight? The headache that I was feeling. It is every time, but now. Mama, look has... at me. Look at me. Lift your legs. Yeah. Go ahead. Just lift your legs. Take it easy. Symptoms of stroke. Look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord perfect what he started right now. Yeah. I stretch my hands and I bring you life by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mama, look at me. Hold on. Lift this hand and put it down. Bring it down. Lift it. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare that this that the Lord has begun, let him perfect it right now. Amen. Headache, stroke, and what, what other, what did she mention again? Diabetes and lumbar problem and hypertension Aye. in the name of jesus be healed right now by the power of the holy spirit in jesus name amen yes next person very quickly um we may just have two or three and then we're done please we'll, I'll, all the rest i'll pray for you what will happen is that you can you can come and share maybe on a sunday service you can register your testimonies and you can still share them even though I know that there may be people coming from all over the body of Christ, but you can also take these testimonies to your various assemblies. Yes, please. My name is Bobby Simon. I came with a lump in my armpit, but now it's gone. You came with a lump. Check it now. It's gone. Completely. Yes, sir. The same way this disappeared, everything that must leave your life, I command that it leaves now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bring you healing. And perfection never returns in Jesus name yes please my name is Moses William I've been having migraine for three weeks now and before I came here it's as if my head my head want to remove I immediately you caught my grain I fell under the power of the Holy Ghost outside you were outside yes sir and now, now I'm free gone forever Amen. free today free forever 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes, please. Uh, let's just let us be the last person there. I'm so sorry. After pray this, we'll now hold on, don't drive them back. No, let them stand. I have to pray for them. All of look at the long queue right till outside. Look at what Jesus is doing here. Yes, please. Yeah, praise God. My name is NSCDK. You mentioned my case. I was sitting outside there. So that those you see have, the uh, outside people again? Uh, problem with the left leg. And I happen to have one. You have, oh, I'm seeing the yes, bandage. Yes. And I've been. What happened to you? Sincerely, I don't know. I went home. I came back. I started having the pains. Since then, it has really cost me so much. Where are you from? Well, I'm from Imo State, but I worked here. Okay. Mm. And you could not walk? No, I'm working, but I spent too much on it. It refused to go? I know it will go. Uh -uh. Yeah. Answer me. Before now. Yes. What is it a boil? Is it what does is it a wound? I can't even say that. Just pain like that. What I know I step on something. You step on something. Yes. Every demonic thing. Planted and programmed around your life. I call upon the God of heaven. He takes it out of your life now. My friend, look at me. I pray for you. This demonic thing. I curse it by the God of heaven. Amen. Now, Amen. in the name of Jesus, Amen. it dries up and that pain, that swelling, that discomfort leaves your life now and it leaves your life forever. Amen. Now, for all the so many miracles inside and outside and those of you who could not have the time to testify, Lord, we give you glory for it. We decree and declare that you will be glorified and for all of you who have received these miracles, they remain permanent in your life. And for those who you stood in for, because some of you have sick people, some in hospitals, some in various places, I agree with you right now that in Jesus' name you will return back and you will meet testimonies waiting for you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Now, please, all of you, you're going to stretch your hands. Now, there is a covenant of answered prayer. The Bible says, unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come this ladies and gentlemen is the most accurate representation of your desires even when we prophesy we do so in part because we are limited even when we pray for the sick the time will not even allow us to do justice to everyone as should be but this is both a token of your faith a representation of your expectation listen to me there is a God that answers prayer I have seen God answer prayers in remarkable ways. Um, I had the honor and the privilege some months ago to be alone in Baba Deboe's prayer room. And while I was there, I lay down. The only thing I said was, God, the covenant of answered prayer that you have given this man through the years. I respect and I honor that anointing let it also come upon me so that everyone I pray for and everyone I declare upon in addition to that which you have given upon my life let this grace speak and God heard me you've heard me say I'm a product of many anointings it is true we are not the inventors of this grace it's a relay we also received it Hallelujah. I have read through history. Many years ago, a man of God was going to pray for me who had had the opportunity of meeting with a few of the generals before they went to be with the Lord. And here's what he told me. He said, Smith Wiggles were told Lester Sumro. He said, when you get old, make sure you do not die with this anointing. He said, find young men and transfer this grace unto them. We are recipients of this grace. Nobody invents the anointing. It's a relay. In one of my encounters, I had this man come to me in my vision and he was talking with me and I was listening. Profound wisdom. And when he turned 
he was about leaving I was calling him and I said sir you did not tell me your name and he stopped and turned back to look at me and he said Paul listen I didn't always walk in the prophetic in this dimension I'm a product of many anointings but I will tell you one of the stories one night late in the night I was watching William Branham and it was an interview and I was just soaking in the presence of God you know people have criticized the man castigated him said all kinds of things because of a few limitations at the end of his ministry and I, I saw the purity and the heart and the sincerity of that man most people will not stand for one year if they carry one tenth of the anointing that was on that man they will not even have the stamina to stand and I said Lord but this man he served you with all his heart and suddenly from the screen of my laptop a cold sensation from that screen upon my head and it started going down over a period of 30 minutes and the moment that happened it just ceased by the next meeting I would go to the heavens opened in a strange way we have been given this baton also we are products of many anointings You get what I'm telling you when your father the bishop stands here he speaks so much about the Archbishop Benson Idahosa and the impact is hard nobody invents this grace Idahosa himself was a student of T.L. Osborne and a student of those who went ahead of him listen to me I shared with you my encounter in the Renhard Monkey Crusade we are products of many anointings in as much as I have met Jesus and I received an impartation directly from him it still did not stop the supplies of the body this is why there is no boasting because all that you see today is an election of grace we are getting into the next prophetic five or ten minutes to wrap up my session here and I'm going to bow my knees like Paul said for this cause I Paul bow my knees to our father the father of our Lord Jesus Christ and all I want you to do is to stretch your hands in agreement as we crush the gates of darkness that everything your personal spiritual life could not fight there is a covenant you are the covenant keeping God you are Towards this request and begin to declare that these Egyptians you see today that you will see them no more forever no you don't have to kneel please you just stand let me do the kneeling for you is someone praying open doors enlargement next levels lands territories spiritual fire There used to be a song many years ago every time we were in an attitude of prayer we used to sing that song many years ago it says Gee, I do water. Yeah. Yeah. 
Jesus Christ Amen. this is not your best in the name of Jesus Christ Amen. I bow my knees before the God of my covenant oh speak from the heavens and the Hear me. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God, I decree and declare every request tabled here before God, even upon this altar, we turn it from a request to an answered prayer. We turn it from a request to an answer prayer. Yeah. Hear me? Anyone who says over his dead body for this request, may the earth open and swallow them. Yeah. Every human agent that must be used by God to bring to pass the answers to this prayer we compel them to respond now yeah. hear me every long-standing issue that has refused to bow to the name of the lord right now we declare by the power of the holy spirit it bows now Hear me? For some of you, before you reach home, the answers here will reach home before you. Believe me. Believe me. Believe me. Hear me? I stand prophetically upon this request. Everything that has risen above you, I bring it under your feet. 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 And if our God is for us, then none could ever stop us. And if our God is with us, after you pack all these requests there is no reading it god has read it you set them on fire somewhere and discard them please don't just put them in a bin just set it on fire to respect everyone's privacy 
but in the name of Jesus I stand in faith with our bishop alongside the veterans of the gospel here represented as a united church over Yola over Adamawa over the east the northeast we decree and declare that every request here will never return as a request again Praise the Lord. Now please let me have your attention. I want to do the impartation now. Listen. An impartation is a transference of spiritual possibilities. Listen. An impartation is not just laying on of hands. You can Hands can be laid on you and nothing transfer to you. He said, the things that thou hast received from us, commit thou to faithful men who will commit to others also every time listen carefully there are three ways to receive impartation number one directly from God through an encounter number two there are results and impartations that come when you align with covenants you don't have to meet the individuals, the covenants that represent the institution or the platforms that they are under. You can come under that covering and you receive certain levels of possibilities and impartations. But the third is when God gives you an opportunity and a privilege to encounter the careers of this grace in the office to downplay on the graces and the sacrifices that are here. There are bishops, apostles, and prophets. And some of you who were not even introduced, mighty battle axes scattered across. Not potentially. God is even using you, maybe even greater than some of us. So standing here to minister does not necessarily mean the greatest or the best. It is an election of grace. And we must be matured and unashamed to recognize this. But can I tell you this? You will never receive from a colleague there has to be that spiritual potential difference and without all contradiction the bible says the less is blessed these graces are not graces that we invented we have so received from men and women who have gone ahead many years ago i was preaching in a pfn crusade in kano and I called this woman out. I think she came to testify of a miracle she had received. She was speaking Hausa. And this woman was an intercessor. She finishes her Bible every 15 days. Ah, I've not done that one. Yet. I said, who is this? Hausa Bible, cover to cover. That one is a grace. I was almost kneeling down to say, before MOG destroys me, let me humble myself and receive first before I continue. Can I tell you, you know the grace walking by the testimonies that recycle around your life. Thou anointest my head with oil, but I see the result in what happens in my cup. You don't anoint my cup. If my cup is empty, don't blame the cup. It is what is on my head. If I want my cup to overflow, then what is on my head must overflow. Listen to me. Every possibility in this kingdom is governed by a grace dimension. There is a dimension of engracing and empowerment. Speed has a grace. The prophetic has a grace. Revelation and access to the mysteries of the spirit has a grace. Influence has a grace. Favor has a grace. That was a grace, the anointing that was upon Esther. And within the next five minutes before we round up, I know that our time is gone. But listen to me. I believe that God sent me here through the awesome invitation of the angel over this house and a father over many within this city, our bishop and his precious wife, that under this corporate anointing, if you believe, many of you have seen this day in dreams and visions. Many of you, the same way a doctor diagnoses a patient and says there is deficiency of calcium, we can know the deficiency 
by the inability to produce certain spiritual results. You are a man of God with a strong teaching grace, but there is no performance, no results in terms of signs and wonders. You are a man of God graced with signs and wonders, but the opportunity, the access to wisdom to understand doctrine and communicate the same with intelligence is not there. Some of you are anointed in as much as ministry requires, but the fortitude for effective leadership is not there. Now please, all those under the anointing, you don't have to bring them out. But remember I told you, the Lord Jesus gave me an instruction. Everywhere I travel, there must be someone that that light that came from him to me. I am a product of many anointings. And within the next two, three minutes as we run, please open up your heart. And something is about to happen to you. Father, I stretch my hands, joining faith with our bishop, alongside the servants of God that are here represented. You have shown me mercy, you have shown me grace. I have tasted of this wine of the Spirit. And with it you have granted grace to work wonders for your name. I pray. I'm seeing an eagle. This is a representation of the prophetic. Right now, everyone here, who must drink of this wine, Kalis Sate Maratus Kavadia. The wine of the prophetic. Many of you here, those dimensions are virgin dimensions. Help them. At the count of three, inside, outside, anyone here who should walk in the prophetic. One, two, three, take that grace. Take that grace. I unlock the fountain of the prophetic. The eyes that see and the ears that hear. Take it now. Help this man. In the name of Jesus Christ. Take it inside, outside. The balcony, everywhere. In the name of Jesus Christ. The grace for speed is coming on people now. There has been delay and retrogression in ministry and in life. But in the name of Jesus, take the grace for speed. Help them please. Help this man. Take the grace for speed. Run like Elijah. Run like Elijah. Overtake the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. I take 10 years and I put it in one month. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now there are some of you here who are uniquely called into the ministry of signs and wonders. Supernatural manifestations of power. I'm seeing the number 24. 24 people. Lord, where are they? I stretch my hands at the count of three. May that grace from heaven rest upon you now. One, my God. Two, three. Take that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are two men of God here. The minister stand. I'm seeing, I just saw fire come upon you. Kariza di Alahashia. Rendeke Baruz Kiata. The name of Jesus Christ. Help them please. Help them. Take that grace. The spirit of revelation. Many of you have desired access to scripture. The opening of your eyes to see. Ay, 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 ay. I've seen many people drink of this wine. In the name of Jesus, take that grace now. The miracle of open eyes. Access to the mysteries of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus Christ. A depth of comprehension by the spirit of the living God.
Hallelujah. Bishop, sir, with all due respect, I'm seeing our mother. I just saw oil being poured on the woman of God. I saw oil and the Lord told me that there is a grace for favor that he's putting upon our mother and upon anyone she prays for. This is what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus, by the privilege of God's grace, let it be as declared by the mouth of the Lord that that grace and that unction for favor coming upon your mother in the Lord, the wife of our bishop, in addition to every grace that she carries, now by the privilege of the election of grace, I speak to you. May that oil truly come upon you. Now, you drink of that well in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God. That grace. I want to pray for you. There are many of you that need to carry the grace. It takes favor also to experience enlargement. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21. We're wrapping up. Exodus 3. Sir, you're a pastor here. I want to pray for you. The Lord is bringing speed to your life. Speed that before the end of 2021, sir, the things that you will do will even surprise you. And the Lord says he's bringing you to a season of reward. In the name of Jesus, speed to you, sir. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I empower your feet to run. In the name of Jesus, I empower your feet to run. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus Christ. Esther 321. Oh dear, I thought we had it projected. Please help us, our time is up. Read with me, please. One to read. And it shall come to pass that as ye go, ye shall not go. You know that there is favor on your life when your hand stops being empty. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. The kind of favor you have never seen. I stand in faith with our Father, the Bishop, and I declare, take that favor now. There are churches that will have land that you did not buy with your money. The God of heaven is arising to give it to you. You step into prepared blessings. In the name of Jesus Christ. And hear me. Every grace that you have seen, that your heart so desires, I stretch my hands. By the privilege of the election of grace, I decree and declare access to kings, access to systems and structures. May that grace come upon you now. Everyone here who is saying, Apostle, I cannot leave this meeting without Jesus. While I heard you speak, I realize and I recognize that I need Jesus. Please, no movement. There are some of you outside. You are saying, Apostle, I came for this conference, now turn crusade. And I need Jesus. We have two minutes, our time is up. Please, if you are here, before I leave this city, I want to stand with you as we make that declaration for Jesus. I am going to count one to five. Those who are coming from outside, please allow them in as much as they are coming just for salvation I will count one to five run like there's fire on the mountain you come and stand here right now one you are running to Jesus don't sit back let's celebrate them as they come from inside outside you need Jesus two please stand up for space Three, are you coming? Please rush, rush, rush quickly. Hallelujah. The power of sin and Satan. Come, come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Nina Yesule Bazan Koma Bazan Koma Nina Yesule Bazan Koma Bazan Koma Jesus Yola is calling you. He's giving you
you a new beginning. The Bible says, whosoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Hallelujah. Now listen to me. All of you who are standing here, and you who is following in your homes, following everywhere, here is an opportunity to make it right with Jesus. The Bible declares, for God so loved the world, that he gave his one and only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Listen to me. I salute every one of you for making this bold declaration. I want you to lift your right hand high to heaven. Listen, you are not just reciting a poem. Jesus is here. And ensure that this decision you make is true, is lasting, is sincere. All of you who are here in front, shout this loud after me. Say, Lord Jesus. Tonight, I have heard your word. I believe in you that you are the Son of God. I receive Jesus tonight as my Savior, as my Lord, and as my King. I receive the abundance of grace, even the gift of righteousness. And I declare that I reign forever. I am a recipient of the life of God. I declare that the power of sin, of Satan, of hell, of the grave is broken over my life. From today, I am a child of God. I go forward ever and backward never. Amen. Keep your hands lifted. By the authority of scripture, I declare your sins forgiven. Father, I decree and declare, let this be a new beginning for these people. You will never return to yesterday again in Jesus' name. According to the authority of scriptures, you are recipients of eternal life. And from today until forever, in the name of Jesus, we call you sons and daughters of light. The grace to live victorious in your Christian life. May that grace be released upon you. Finally, I commend you to the ministry of the Spirit and the ministry of the Word for your establishment and your maturity in righteousness. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and Amen. Is there anywhere they are going to or they return to their seats? Okay, now, I know there are a number of you. Where, where, what's the direction? Okay, now please, all of you here who came to make that declaration, I believe you will be giving slips. All of you, make sure you collect a slip. You are going to fill it legibly. And then, are they returning back to their seats? Someone advise me. Okay, now all of you in concert, please move to my left, which is your right. Let's celebrate them as they go, all of them. There will be a few counselors who will receive you. Make sure you pick your slip on your way going. Y'all are celebrate them. We're almost done. Very quickly, very quickly, celebrate them as they go. Hallelujah. Now, listen, please. Listen. Um, I know that I, I may not be able to see Bishop now because of the people, but I want you to know that I am honored and really blessed to visit Yola again. And for this platform that the Lord has provided, I want to thank you sincerely, Bishop Sir and your precious wife alongside the team of elders all of the people who have helped to make my stay a profitable one even though a brief one we had wonderful moments today with bishop and i want to appreciate every servant of god who has come here to honor this meeting with you all who have come politicians thank you so so much dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny
the face of development lord grant me the discipline 